Hey guys, this is Esther Bernat. I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I do some Quizlet live in the classroom today. You ready? Welcome to my very, very empty classroom. <laughs> so obviously a bunch of us are distance learning this school year and Quizlet is so great for all of this distance learning that we're doing. And we all know we're struggling with like trying to get the kids to be engaged, but I will show you that having playing Quizlet live with your students will at least get them talking and at least get them excited. So let's go. Okay, so let me introduce myself. I am Esther Brunat. This is my ninth year teaching. I teach in sunny South Florida and I teach high school math which is the best. I have been using Quizlet Live for probably two years, I think, two or three, maybe because of my good friend Rory. And um, it is the best. So the topic that I'm going over today in class is function transformations. And so when my students are actually sitting in front of me, I actually print out physical flashcards for them to practice their function transformations. Um, and then they can also have the online set for when they go home. So the two and two work well together. But now, because we are distance learning, everything is just physically online. So the first thing that I did was I used the same cards that they have in class. I took the pictures of those cards and I basically made them into the flashcard set on Quizlet. This way, what we're doing in class and what they study on their own is cohesive and it doesn't need to be like different. Everything works and gels well together, okay? So now uh, I'm gonna play with them as a review activity and to set them up for their test, right? So I do that really easily. Now that the set has been created, I've dragged the pictures, I've done everything. I set the game up really easily by just going to individual game. Now, I always start with playing individual first because I want the students to get a hang of what the questions are going to look like, what the cards look like, what the answers they should be looking for. So my students are equally as competitive when they're playing individual as they are playing in groups. So what I like about Quizlet is now that I'm making, I make the game and it populates the students' names. After it populates the students' names, then it puts them on teams and, or on their own individual teams. And so each kid has like an animal name. Uh, I like that because then it keeps it anonymous as to who's winning, who's losing. Uh, and one, when I'm narrating the game with them, it's a stinking blast. <laughs> oh, Orcus got knocked down from 11 back to zero. They play and they do their little thing. Da -da 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 -da. They get hyped, they get angry. They're typing things in the chat. It's the best. And, um, and then we wrap it up from there, right? I probably make them play at least two rounds of individuals, sometimes three, depending on the topic. And so that just helps them get the hang of it, like I said. So once we play individual, right? Then I say, all right, guys, we're gonna transition to playing it in groups. Now, Quizlet is fun in groups because what happens now is only one person on the team or on the group has the answer. So if you don't have the answer on your screen, you kind of just have to like trust that your classmates were paying attention um, and will get the answer correct. If somebody gets it wrong, it knocks you all the way back down to the beginning <laughs> and it's tragic, but you've already seen some of the questions so you should get back on top pretty quickly. This is the most wild and the most fun because they're getting so mad at each other <laughs> and the competitiveness is like on a whole new level when they're playing in groups. 
So I set this up the same exact way that I set up individual, except for we go ahead and we press groups. And then when we press groups, my students' um, names populate and it randomly generates. Who's gonna be on whose team? <laughs> So once we do that, they're on each other's uh, on each other's team. I go through and I tell them who's on whose team. If you want to be savage, like just skip right past that page so they don't know. Um, but you can also rearrange. But I don't really like to rearrange it. I just like the computer and the luck to be random, you know. And so once we start playing that, then it's a whole wrap. Sometimes the unmute themselves sometimes they'll just text in the chat sometimes they'll be like hey I don't have it but I know it's this one so and talk to each other which we love we love we love we love okay um so they're doing a great they do a great job of that and it's just a fun way for them to be able to learn I narrate the scoreboard on this one just like I narrate the scoreboard for individual and we love that and so I'm narrating like I'm a sports announcer like this team is at eight this team just got knocked down to zero oh and the wolves uh, why can't take it what happens after that the students it proclaims the winner they feel like they got cheated or they didn't feel like they got cheated whatever the case is usually in class i would like give my students some candy you know candy will get the kids to do anything <laughs> but we're virtual learning right now so i give them virtual high fives <laughs> and i tell them if they have some kind of reasonable favor that i can do for them then i will make good on that for them winning now um when we are done with that the great thing about quizlet is i just drop the link to that study set in the class chat and i also put it on canvas which is our learning management system and the kids have access to that so that they can continue to quiz themselves until they get them 100% right. So that's the first thing that I love is I love to be able to give them the link at home. Um, we love playing in class because it's one of the few ways that I have figured out to get my students alive, talking, and well. Um, and I just think that everybody should try at least once, you know, instead of talking to empty blank squares on the screen, to just try it one time. <laughs> uh, and see what it awakens in your students. Um, so that is basically Quizlet in a nutshell. And I hope you enjoyed watching my class do it. And I hope you try it with your class. And I also hope to see you in the next vlog. Because <laughs> I'll be doing more with my kids. And I hope you guys come along. Bye. <laughs>